What's up guys? Welcome to Lucky's channel. If you like these videos, please like, share, and subscribe. What is up guys, TJ here with another episode. Today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about how I post products onto uh, eBay from where of a couple different sources that I do. So if you did know, I do flip pallets. Um, there is another channel for that if you would like to check out those videos where I unpack those pallets. That is gonna be pallet jacking. Look at that, you see this? Pallet jacking, pallet jacking, www.palletjacking.com. If you want to check out the stuff that we get, um, also youtube.com slash pallet jacking, uh, you will get to the um, channel. I will put a link to it in the description section below as well as the um, first comment of this video. So how do I do this? How do I, how do I list things um, efficiently and easily from different sites to different sites? So whenever we get these pallets, sometimes we get them, um, we get Home Depot pallets, we get Amazon pallets. Um, sometimes we just get returns from various different sites. Um, so I use AutoDS. Now I've done a video about AutoDS in the past um, and I will leave a link to it in the description section below as well as the first comment if you wanna check that out. But the way that I, the process that I use with uh, AutoDS is I can go in and I can copy the link. I can find whatever the product is on Home Depot or Amazon, I can copy that link, paste it into AutoDS, and it will automatically uh, create me a beautiful listing from that website. Now, it will import all of the um, pictures. It will also import all of the information, the bullet points, um, the size, the weight, everything. It will import everything over to eBay, and it doesn't just put just words and text. It also it puts it in like a really nice um, Java format, so it's really appealing and it looks very professional. Um, and it takes about, I don't know, less than a minute to do. I'm gonna be jumping on the computer and showing you how exactly I do that. If you wanna try it out, like I said, the description uh, will have the link to get you signed up. There is a, a free trial, so you can try it out first. Um, and we're gonna get into the computer. I'm gonna start with autods.com. Uh, I've already logged in. As you can see, I have uh, 90 time, 95 listings that are untracked right now. And I'm not really gonna go into the whole uh, thing about why I don't track my listings. This is really for, this software is really for uh, drop shipping. That's why it's called auto DS, DS meaning drop shipping. Um, but I don't use this for drop shipping. What I actually use this for is a really good way uh, to list products um, very, very quickly from multiple sources. So I'm gonna show you um, Home Depot as well as Amazon. So if you got a pallet uh, from Amazon returns or if it's like Home Depot returns, uh, you can actually go right here and list your product. So I'm gonna go to the uploader. Uh, that's the first thing that I do. And if you get this software, um, you'll be able to list things from Amazon, Walmart, Banggood, uh, AliExpress, Home Depot, Wayfair, Costco, Overstock, and Costway. Now, sometimes I found an item not listed on Amazon or Home Depot, but it was listed on Wayfair or Walmart and I was able to pull it over. Um, so I'm gonna start with uh, Home Depot. So all you have to do is you click on Home Depot. I uh, always take off the variations unless you have multiple uh, variations of the same uh, product. And then I go up to Home Depot and let's just say we were, we got one of these in our palette. Uh, this is a cordless vacuum cleaner. You copy the link, you go over here to AutoDS, uh, paste it in there. Um, and then you click grab details. Before I click that, I'm gonna show you the template that I'm gonna be using is this limited uh, time 30 day returns, limited time sale 30 day return. So I'll show you what that means here in just a second. Now, if you are pulling things from the internet, you will have to deal with Vero. So um, certain brands don't want you to post their products uh, their, or use their images of their products. So this gives you an error telling you, hey, this is Vero, so you need to understand that the company could come after you and say, hey, we don't want you using our images. Um, and we've had one, I think one company come after us say we can't use the images, and all we did was took the listing down, repost it with our own pictures that we took. So not a big deal. Let me continue. So while that's loading, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up one of my listings of, of this 30-day sale. So what it does is it pulls all the information from Home Depot 
and it will put it into this format right here. So it'll have sale, limited time, blah, 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 blah. Um, and all this stuff will be pre-populated. It will actually pull the image from the Home Depot site and put it here, the main image. Um, and it will put all of this information in. I didn't type in any of this information. It gives the, um, the depth, the height, the size, the uh, width. It gives all of the details. Now, you will have to go through and make sure that um, you take out any claims of warranty or anything like that if you don't have that actual warranty. So like this one right here, um, it, it does still have um, the warranty based on when it's installed. So I left that warranty information on there because if somebody goes in and uh, uses this product, it does have a 15 year warranty uh, from the day that they purchased it from the manufacturer so you can leave that on there um, and that pulls like I said directly from the Home Depot uh, website and all the stuff right here is pretty standard it shows the shipping um, the return policy and customer satisfaction so those are things you can um, tweak inside of your auto DS settings mine right now is set to put all of this stuff in and if I need to take something out I'll show you how to take that out so by now it has pulled all the information so right here to show you um, the edit variation I can go here and say I have one or five or two or what I mean I have um, I go right here you set your selling price so if I want to sell this for a hundred dollars I can put on here um, change that to uh, one hundred dollars um, I'm not going to explain all the rest of this stuff because that's really for drop shipping. All you need to know is you need to change whatever seller price and whatever quantity that you want to sell. All this stuff right here is actually information pulled from the Home Depot website. So it shows Dyson, the model number, the brand, um, the color if it had one, uh, the UPC code, the EAN. All this information is completely accurate because it's coming directly um, from the Home Depot website website um so all this stuff the height the depth the battery life all that stuff is from straight from the the home depot website now all of these photos are the photos i was talking about were the vero type photos so what i would do this is what i normally do i take out all of these photos so all you have to do is x um, and it will take these photos off because these are photos that they paid money um, to shoot. Now, this right here is just a picture of the actual product with a white background. And most of the time, this is going to be your Amazon listing photo, and they're not going to say anything about that. So if you want to keep this image, you can, because that's probably going to be the image. Yeah, see, that's the main image that's down here. And this is what the listing will actually look like. Now, the cool thing about this is this is the HTML of that uh, website. And you can go here and change it. So I can go here, and I can add, um, you know, free shipping or whatever I want to add um, right here, you can completely edit this and this is exactly what it's going to look like whenever you um, upload your product. So just go through and make sure that the information is correct. Make sure that these are the photos that you want. If you want to add some photos, uh, you can go here and add photos from your computer. Um, you can add them here. Also, it shows you um, what the what it's going to look like actually on a cell phone, which is actually pretty cool. Um, somebody pull it up on a cell phone. This is what it's going to show. Um, you can change your location, um, your business policy. So I just have eBay business policies, the standard upload. Um, so it's going to be the stuff down kind of at the bottom of shipping and things like that. You can put um, your PayPal, your return policy, your shipping policy. Um, you can change all that. Normally, I go here and I either do calculated shipping or I do um, a fixed rate shipping or I do free shipping, depending on what it is. Um, it shows you actually the um, the length, width, and weight of the, the height, length, weight, width, and weight of the product. So that's really good for shipping. If you want to do calculated shipping, you are going to ship in the box that is shipped in. You can actually get the weight of the product and the height length and width and you can do calculated shipping based off of those parameters um, I always click this uh, add to product monitor I take that off um, because I don't want to change the product now if I did list this which I'm not going to but if I were to list this and I go it will look very similar to this listing right here so this was some um, roof sealer um, that I got on one of my Home Depot pallets and uh, I didn't want to take a photo of it um, to get that white background but this is a very clean image uh, it's pulled directly from the Home Depot website all this stuff is pulled directly from the Home Depot website and I actually shipped this product because it weighed about 60 pounds I believe um, I took the dimensions straight from the listing and I put it in as calculated shipping so whenever somebody comes on to purchase this item um, it will calculate the, uh, the shipping automatically based on the distance from my house 
uh, or from my business to their house so that is really cool so I'm going to show you real quick uh, Amazon Amazon is very similar you go up here you copy uh, the link and let's go back to uploader um, I take the the variations off I paste that in there um, I click grab details and it'll do the same thing it will go through on the Amazon website and it will grab the details and actually put them uh, within your listing all right, so like I said, this is very similar. It pulls up the photo of the product. You go right here, you can edit the quantity. Um, you can edit the sales price. Um, you can go down here, make sure all the information looks good. Um, go right here, add pictures, delete pictures, whatever you want to do. Um, if you want to add some information in here, take some information away. I've actually had to go in here sometimes and add, you know, maybe it's missing a hose or it's missing a screw or something like that. And I'll add that information uh, within here. Um, this shows you what it's going to look like on the mobile um, site, and this is all of your policy type information. And you can put all that on that, and it will upload straight to your eBay store, and you will have something that looks very similar to this. All right, that is going to be it for today, guys. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also, hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I release new videos. See you guys on the next one.